Howdy tabletop RPG fans, I'm Wrangle Me, Grand Poopa of Game Design, and today's topic is Gonzo RPGs, for RPG designers and game masters that homebrew. What is Gonzo? A dashing and hilariously fearless daredevil muppet? Seriously, besides being Gonzo's name, the term Gonzo can mean full tilt fearless action. It is a common aesthetic for weird, anachronistic, disturbing, and punk. Steampunk, cyberpunk, and even punk rock can be gonzo. Gratuitous violence and fetish can be gonzo. Gonzo is part of the nonsense of Wonderland, the rocket ships and centurions of Flash Gordon, the underground comics of Von Bode, satire of Harvard Lampoon, the outrageousness of Tank Girl, the amazing weird science stories of Heavy Metal Magazine or Arthur's Weedham, the surrealistic artwork of Hieronymus Bosch, or the self-definition of gonzo stylings of Ralph Steadman and Hunter S. Thompson. A few gonzo RPGs. Gonzo RPGs most often have a blend of weird science and wild magic with epic heroes, dastardly villains, and incredibly odd sensibilities. Dave Hardgrave's Art and Gamora blended the high fantasy of D&D with weird science. Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay took the classic fantasy European myths and dipped them in a thick coating of punk and chaos. Gamma World turned dungeon crawling into a hyper-fantastic apocalyptic ride through a mutated wasteland. The entire setting of Hole is a disturbing journey into mental disorder. Troika's bizarre character backgrounds and Odyssey of Crystal Sphere Realms is the ultimate multiverse adventure hopping RPG. Dungeon Crawl Classics mixes well with Mutant Crawl Classics to create a modern OSR take on science fantasy RPGs. I would argue that Morkborg's grim dark world setting can certainly be gonzo. Fast Grim is all that we love about sci-fi RPGs shaken with a twist of dark grim fantasy. Homebrew RPGs Many of our RPG choices have simple genres that can feel hackneyed when compared against other RPGs in that genre. It isn't until you take the weak sauce RPG and dial it all the way up to 11 with some gonzo elements that you find something with awesome sauce. Wizard brothers that battle each other with the forces of technology and magic, time-traveling champions that save the world from cybernetic alien fascists, Steam-powered knights who stop the demon hordes from Hellgates. You can take any RPG you already have and with some clever genre bending, make it into something gonzo. Add some firearms and steampunk rockets to your high fantasy RPG. Use the mechanics from your favorite sci-fi RPG mixed with ninjas and pirates. Mix your Elder God Investigator RPG with Immortal Wizards from the Illuminati. Don't say no. For Gonzo, you ask yourself, how? I've used this mixture of one from column A and one from column B method to brainstorm some incredible RPG concepts. If you are home brewing for your own table, you can borrow from any setting or genre you choose. If you are designing a new RPG or setting, just be sure you don't get caught borrowing too heavily from one source especially very specific intellectual property attached to a specific brand, like a police call box. I'd love to hear about your favorite Gonzo RPGs and any settings or homebrew rules you dialed to 11 in the comments below. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hit like, subscribe, or ring the bell, or Booger will get you. If you want to see more videos like this, go to hopspush.com and buy an RPG or t-shirt. Do good, annoy evil, and bye-bye.